Uh, well, digital art, in a way, it's a new uh, uh, way of naming new media and uh, electronic arts and things that have been there for a long time, but uh, they were f they just changed name like frequently. Uh, and now it's sort of the, the latest uh, tag name for uh, whatever is not necessarily the traditional arts and more uh, sort of uh, contemporary in the sense that people using technology to make art. So even if you do robotics, like in my case, that is not that much digital because yes, there's a programming part to it. But most of the work is, you know, it's hands-on, it's uh, you know, working with materials and things like that. But it's still called digital art. In fact, I'm using technology to express things that are sort of uh, making us question technology. Uh, for example, if I make robots, I'm going to make robots that you know, sort of have very strange behaviors or not abnormal behaviors or things that we don't necessarily uh, sort of uh, expect from the machines to have because we always like, expect, expect machines to be perfect and uh, uh, in this case uh, I just want to sort of express the dark side of the machines or the other side of the machine. Um, but it's not something that is, you know, it's, it's not about technology, it's more about uh, humanity, you know? it's, it's about uh, the society, it's about, it, but through uh, a gaze that you know, is conveyed by the, the robots. I think it's just the beginning because, you know, like, uh, it's not been a long time since uh, computers have invaded our lives and uh, also artists will always want to use whatever is around them like whether it's iPhones or computers or whatever you know like cameras and, and so on so as, as it will grow and develop you know, more people are going to use it to make art that's for sure so yeah, that's why I just see it as the beginning of something. Un unless one day we decide to you know, get rid of technology, <laughs> then maybe it will stop. But... Well, f for the visual arts, no, like digital art is more like a low kind of form uh, of art. Uh, but slowly, you know, like uh, it gets into the museum and uh, the galleries. So maybe one day it will be more accepted. Uh, but right now it's still something you will find in you know, events and uh, festivals that are dedicated to uh, art and technology more than any other thing. Uh, usually, you know, if it's presented in the festival or museum or things like that, the comments are not usually very good. Uh, it's just because it's a form of art that they are not so much aware of, uh, so it doesn't attract their attention that much. It's not like when the Museum of Fine Art does this uh, Chagall exhibition. Well, everybody knows Chagall and everybody goes there and they all go like, oh, it's so great. But of course, when you don't know what it's about, it's more difficult to approach it. Now, if you present yourself as a digital artist, it doesn't really mean anything. You know? It's a bit like if you would say, I'm an analog artist. Uh, so what? You know, okay. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you do? You know, is it sculpture or painting? Or... So it's the same thing for digital. So I guess people will have to uh, elaborate more on the specialty that they have, like uh, if it's VR or if it's uh, bio art or whatever. So... The future of uh, digital art is there. Like, uh, not to see it as just a local thing, but it's a global thing. 
find places to show that are not necessarily uh, you know, the gallery uh, in, on, in the plateau or you have to open up and try to uh, target the whole planet as much as possible because that's it's sort of a international language you know, that's something you go uh, into uh, a city in China or you know, in Europe or South America and people will understand what you're doing because they've seen it somewhere even though you know like uh, you're using English language or French or whatever they will understand what's behind it